your life and future becomes interesting when you have learned to appreciate people and others. Your life will appreciate in value and worth when you constantly appreciate people and others that has always appreciated your work, your service, and your person. Whenever you don't appreciate people or others, it is a proof, a sign, and a feedback that you don't recognize their contribution, you don't recognize their value, you recognize their interest. Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 to 4. Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 to 4. Verse 3, let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each one esteem other better than itself. Verse 4, let each of you look out not only for your own interest, but also for the interest of others. Based on this, I welcome you to stepping up. My name is still Sebastian. One day we are still looking at our series, People Relationship Dynamics Part 2. People Relationship Dynamics Part 2. I appreciate everyone that have been part of this discourse, people that have been calling in and making inquiries and asking questions, calling for counseling and say that Lord Almighty bless and impart you greatly in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that have granted us access to their space, their face, and their gadget, I say that Lord Almighty will bless and answer all the questions of your heart resultfully and impactfully this day and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, let's listen to our, our program for the month of September. Program for the month of September, Tongues of Entrainment uh, with the team, the realm of knowing, part two, the realm of knowing, part two, coming up on the 14th of September, 14th of September, and Mind Development Workshop, Mind Development Workshop, coming up on the 21st of September, 21st of September with the team, the renewal, the renewal, renewal, part two. Both programs are free before the end of this telecast. Uh, my, my details will be on your screen. Let us discuss from those platforms for you to know how to get to the venue and for you to know how to be part of the discourse. And God Almighty bless you greatly in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, in the last episode, we tried to introduce our discourse, try to bring into understanding <clears throat> the, the, the thought behind the series. Uh, we are talking about People relationship dynamics. People relationship dynamics is the ability to painfully navigate, maneuver successfully every and any bottleneck of all sort created or caused by the mixed multitude without complaining in your life journey. We said that people relationship dynamics is a mixed multitude dynamics or mixed multitude, growing people that come together to relate, known as what? As crowd. Mixed multitude relationship is a mixture of various kind of people that are good, bad, ignorant, and naive coming together to make up a crowd around you. And we went into a deeper discourse by trying to find out what is the purpose behind the discourse. Why are we looking at people relationship dynamics at this season of our life? We came into the first discourse that, look, <clears throat> there is nothing you can do. Number one point is that people <clears throat> relationship dynamics is common and it's a must for everyone to come into the know. Why? Because our life activity, journey, journey of life activity centers all about to people, all about people one way or the other, all about you interacting with people, all about you connecting with people one way or the other, all about you involving yourself with people, engaging with people, meeting people directly or indirectly, connecting with people directly or indirectly, and you depending on people and interdependence on, on people. You can't succeed without getting involved with people. And number two point we looked at was, Relationship, people relationship is what? It's a choice, not a force, not by chance. It is you that will bring out your element of choice. What are you looking for? What do you want or who do you want to attract? Why do, what, what do you want to be known for? And we went deeper into it that a lot of people come into a relationship with some expectancy, some expectation, which is key. 
And I tell you that when you don't meet your desired expectation in a relationship, it's a proof that, that your choice elements are faulty. You need to go unlearn and relearn the, 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 the choice element. The choice element. Some people are, are still looking at what makes you um, 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 to come into association, relationship, and interaction with people are their appearances. And God said he does not look at the appearances. He looks at the heart. And the heart is the subconscious mind. So if you are still looking at the appearances, yes, the appearances play a lot of role. But appearance is not the only thing you need to look. For your element, choice of elements should not only be appearance. Appearance will bring them to you one, then you now start vetting other factors that you have, uh, you have dis discovered and developed to open your intelligence for you to do what? For you to know how to navigate this mix multitude of people, this mix uh, 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 um, growing crowd of, of people. We looked at number three, we looked at number three, and some of our viewers called in and asked beautiful question. What was their question? Their question was like, a particular woman, he said, what will you do, sir, that when your, when your leader is highly strict, highly strict, highly disciplined, and <laughs> look, there are a lot of people that don't want to be regulated. Some people don't want to be controlled. When you don't want to be controlled, you, 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 you become or you go out of control. When you don't want to be controlled, you go out of control. Going out of control provokes what? Malfunctioning. 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 And by the time you start going out of control before man, before people, then you will now, before you know it, you go out of control over the law of the land. And that's why we have what they call the law enforcement agent. The law enforcement agent enforces the law of the land because there are ways expected of you to behave in what? In the society. If those kind or that kind of behavioral pattern is not seen of you, there are, there are corrective measures or there are consequences. Number three point or purpose behind the discourse is people, relationship are not forever. In most cases, they are not forever. In some cases, yes, because of navigation, growth, change, and, and what? Number four point, number four point, uh, is to reveal, show, into the consciousness of the people that the society, the environment, the earth are always filled with mixed multitude. This earth is filled with various kind of people, with various kind of attitude, they might not be the kind of attitude that is common to you growing up in your family. They are not the kind of attitude common to you growing up in your ethnic or your ethnos or your, or, 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 or your comfort zone. That's why when you travel, that's why when you are exposed, that's why when you go to a higher institution, move to a, a new place, the relationship changes. It's not the same people. I read the book. I read the book. A man was coming from town A, I was coming into town B, and he met an elderly man at the gate, because that's what he does. Everywhere he get, gets to, at the gate, he asks them, excuse me, sir, are these people in this town B, the new town you are about to enter, are they behaving like the people in town A? The man will ask a question. The elderly man will always ask a question. Where if the town A you are coming from, how does those people behave? And you say they behave one, two, three, four. They will tell you that the town B you are about to enter, the people to behave exactly like that. What does that mean? The, the behavioral pattern of the place you are coming from and the place you want to enter, if it has formed a mindset, you will observe, judge, and conclude with the prism, the prism or the lens of behavioral pattern of town A. Because when you get to town P, if that behavioral pattern has formed a mindset, a thinking pattern, a reasoning pattern, what will happen is that you will unconsciously pull people to gravitate to your side or, or your space that behave exactly like people in what? In town, in town A that you are living to come into town B. But it is the truth of life that we have what is called mixed multitude. And mixed multitude are mixture 
of various kinds of people that relate, interact, and what, and socialize with you. They have the good people, you have the bad people, then we have what, you have um, 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 the ignorance people, and you have the naive people. That's why I tell some sisters that says all men are the same, all men are wicked, all men are evil. Listen, that statement is not correct. Therefore, the fact that you have met some couple or handful of men that have hurt you, that have caused pain in your life, that have, um, that have parasitically used you, that should not make you to conclude that all men are bad. If you use that lens to judge every man that appeared to you, remember, relationship is not by force, it's by choice. Your ability and capacity to choose, your element of choice or your litmus test for choice is faulty. That is why you need to go back and out and re-engineer yourself. If you keep on repeatedly attracting harmful people or bad people, is a is a proof and a sign and a feedback to you that your judgment call, your ability to choose is, is faulty. There's something wrong with your discernment. There's something wrong with your perception. There's something wrong with your interpretation. There's something wrong with your quality and cho uh, uh, choice or judgment of character, which you need to learn. You need to unlearn the one you have learned to relearn the right one. That's why I'm telling people. So if every day you attract the wrong people, Every day you attract and connect the wrong people. If you are Kashu Idi Alaproko Ute Kapala Doskaba, an employer of labor, you have the wrong judgment character. You are always employing the wrong people. It's because you don't have the socialization or the employment skill sense and skill set. That's why there's a department or it's called what? HR, Human Resource Department. They have the intelligence. They have the knowing. There are things you need to learn. There are books you need to read. We have run a training. We have run a training for some group of uh, 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 executive directors or executives that are especially uh, 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 one-man business sole traders, entrepreneurs that don't know how to make the right judgment call. In fact, the class was like a deliverance service. As I was teaching and my, and my facilitators was teaching, people were screaming. They were seeing their mistake, their error, their, in their judgment call. Starting point, don't employ a family member into your production space that is not productive. Listen, unproductive people are high maintenance. Unpro <laughs> unproductive people are high maintenance. Holy Spirit, let's move, let's move, let's move. If you don't know how to attract productive people, if you look, product, unproductive person can't survive my space. Unproductive. You are, you are always complaining. You are shifting the responsibility. You are shifting the blame. Listen, I always tell my wife repeatedly, repeatedly, anytime she comes with, I tell her, your boss employed you people to solve problems for him. Your boss employed you people to solve a problem. He didn't employ you people to create problem and pass it over to him. You people, until you see yourself as a problem solver, being a staff, you can't grow in life. You can't grow in the organizational chart. You can't grow in the organogram. You will be shocked. You will be shocked that he will be bringing, employing people from outside to help you people that have been there, except you grow yourself. You need to learn, you need to understand, you need to unlearn how to grow yourself on the job to solve a problem. How do you solve a problem you don't know how to solve? Go to God. Yeah. All right, point number five. We are still looking at the purpose behind the teaching. What is the title? People relationship dynamics. People relationship dynamics. People are not static. You can't know somebody for five years and you lose contact with the person for three years two years, even one year, and you think the person will still be the same. The person should not be the same. If the person is the same, it's a product and a sign and a feedback to you that the person is not growing. There are some of my friends, when I meet them, old classmates, when I meet them, what are you doing now, what is happening? And if the only gist or discourse they have with me is our secondary school days, our university school days, are you serious? 
this are gap in between of about 30 something years, 40 something years gap, and you are still taking me to 45, uh, 40 something years behind. We are talking about what you are doing now. You are telling me <laughs> it is well that Lord will grant them intelligence in the name of Jesus Christ. Number five, learn and relearn how to overlook, overcome, manage strategically the bait of of the devil and what? And the strategy of the evil one. Learn how to handle it. Learn how to overlook it. Learn how to overcome it. One of the greatest relationship bait, <laughs> relationship bait, relationship pitfalls are what? Offenses and strife. Offenses and strife. Offense. If you learn how to manage offense, handle offense, overcome offense, you are set to have a healthy life. You are set to have a, me <laughs> a healthy mental health in everything you are doing. Offense. Offense, strife. Offense, strife. Offense, strife. Grudges. Grudges. Don't allow grudges because grudges, offenses, strife are doorway to satanic entrance into your life. A doorway to satanic entrance into your life. Forgive everybody. Yes, they will hurt you. Yes, they will harm you. Yes, they will bite you. Yes, they will use you. Listen, listen, listen. People that say they use me, nobody can use you. They are using you. Have this mindset. They are using you because you are useful. Kaya Prokota, a.k.a. Swanta Lagaba. Usage is what? Ah, is training. Usage is so baha, a kotoswa, impreketeva. Usage is sharpening your skill. Usage is cutting, is making your cutting edge to be better. Kaba Akodua, in Kromana, a keto uke, iskanda kiteko lobrea, genta kapariende o koporia daba, e prekuto kobalaba. You are used because you are valuable. Imprekanta is ketuko, ikaba. If you are angry that they used you, now understand that you came into the relationship with a value. A lot of people are complaining because they use them in organization. Why? Do you know why you, you are saying they used you? It's because you didn't know your usefulness, Kappa. <laughs> Before going to the organization, you didn't know your usefulness. You didn't know your worth, Brenda Haskaba. You didn't know your value. When you got to the organization, the man discovered your value. Let me explain further. Especially when you are going for employment. Either by desperation one, or because you didn't know your worth and your value. You priced yourself low. They employed you low. Aha, kotos kepaladasa. So you now came in. The responsibility they were giving you were now, were now more than you bargained for, more than you expected. And you say they are using you. And number two, maybe you, you, you know your, your capacity. And your boss see that what you thought is your capacity, you are more than that. And start giving you responsibility. Start stretching you. Start stretching you. That stretch is growth. That stretch is change. Hey, Yamana Kabalaba. That stretch is moving you. Remember, don't forget that we have uh, a, a, a vertical, a vertical line. The horizontal line. The horizontal line is the movement. Is the movement. Is the movement. Is the movement. When your boss is stretching you, you were employed to be at this white level. White level. Suddenly, within six months, you saw yourself at the black level. It's growth. It's growth. You are complaining because your brain is being stretched. When your brain is, does not, is not stretched, your life cannot be sweet. When your brain is your brain is being challenged. It's being So that's why I'm telling you, be careful of events. Be careful of offense. I like being around people that stretches me. I like, yeah, because we are talking about mixed multitude. There are, listen, there are people that stretch you, especially those that are above you, those that are your mentors, those that, those that are your superior, those that are authority figure over you, those that are kings over you. When they see you, they stretch you. They see something about you. They see some capacity. Allow them to help you discover. I, I, I want to make a statement that the statement, ah, is so funny, but I will say it on air. It, it's so funny. I've been saying it, but I will say it on air. I will say it on air. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but I will say it on air. 
Do you know that it is better for you to have some witches around because it is the witch that will tell you your level spiritually? It is having witch around you that will tell you your spiritual growth. Your spiritual growth. Your spiritual growth. Let me share this with you. I'm telling you. So the more you have them, the more, the more you know whether you are growing or not spiritually. If a witch is comfortable around you, <laughs> or witches are comfortable around you, it means you are called as a Christian. You are called as a Christian. There was a particular day I, <laughs> I stayed awake all through the night, which is part of my activity and part of my routine. I wake all through the night, prayed all through the night, and I prayed some kind of prayer, I can't remember. Then I was going to the gym in the morning. I, I, I don't drive to the gym. As I came out, I wanted to enter the tricycle. The tricycle man looked at me and started abusing me. Ah, he was abusing me. I just kept quiet. I was looking at him. I was smiling because I understood what was happening. And uh, the organizer close to the estate gate was like, Pastor, is he talking to you? I said, I don't know. It was the organizer that was now fighting. Now, the question is this. Offense. Pastor, were you offended? No. Were you angry? No. Were you? No. Why? I understand what was happening. I need to read scripture on this one. Luke chapter 17, verses 1 and 2. Luke chapter 17, verses 1 and 2. Then he said to the disciples, Jesus Christ speaking now, because the letter or the writing was in red. Jesus said to the disciples, offenses should come, but woe to him through which they come, they do come. Verse 2, it will be better for him if a milestone will hang around his neck and were thrown into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. So offenses should come, but ensure that the offense does not come through you. So what am I saying? Learn to manage offenses. Mixed multitude offenses, offenses do come. Don't behave like a carnal Christian. First Corinthians chapter 3, 1 to 4. What is, who is a carnal Christian? A carnal Christian is someone that is easily provoked. You are always bitter. They stepped on you. They didn't agree. Those things are <laughs> mundane, mundane, flexible, little things. They didn't greet you. Make an excuse for the person. The, did you know whether the person saw you or not? They didn't greet you. You, you. you think you are the only person the person is thinking about? Somebody is looking at you, lost in thought. The subconscious mind has, go, has got to various. Learn, learn, learn to live among people of various shades, various character, various behavior. Learn. When they tell you, I don't like this, Know that he doesn't like dislikes. He, these are his dislikes. These are his likes. Recanto Shotoko That is how to navigate. We are going to talk some more when we are talking about emotional intelligence and social intelligence. Ability to socialize. Ability to have social culture. Are you sociable? Point number six. It is to master how to handle your own emotion. How to handle your own emotion. Yes, your own emotion is key. Your own emotion is key. To have the ability to be in charge and in control of your feeling. Understand your own emotion. Number two, understand your own trigger point. What are the things that triggers you to be angry? What are the things that trigger you to be angry? Even the Holy Spirit. The Bible says don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Don't make the Holy Spirit to be, anger, to, to be angry. Don't anger the Holy Spirit. Don't make the Holy Spirit to be angry. What are the things that make the Holy Spirit to be angry? He started listing it in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 30 and 31. In Ephesians chapter 4, verses 30 and 31, verse 30 says, Don't grieve the Holy Spirit upon which you were sealed on the day of redemption. He started giving us in verse 31 things that make the Holy Spirit to be grieved. Many people don't know that you are pushing away the Holy Spirit. The way you are pushing away a spiritual being is also the same way you are pushing away human beings. You are pushing away those ordained, those mandated by God to help you, your destiny helper, people that God has ordained to assist you. You can't do life alone. Let this truth be in you. Some people say, that's my behavior, that's my character, that's my nature. You can't you change your nature. There's something called growth, and growth is a product of change. Growth is a product of change. What is change? Self-involvement, self-revolving, self-what? Self-transformation, self-reformation. You change yourself for yourself by yourself. Circumcise yourself by yourself. Circumcise yourself by yourself. Circumcise. Your attitude might not create the right attitude 
altitude for you to fly. Your attitude might not create the right altitude. Altitude. You can't fly because of this character. Check. Some are not married because of character flaws, character failure. Some have not been blessed, promoted in business because of character flaw. You, you are not accountable. You are not disciplined with money. You are not, you are not disciplined with words. You are not disciplined with your voice. You look down at people. You insult everything. Your dressing is what? It's provocative. Your dressing is repelling. Your character is repelling. Ah, kasho ena so kopori anda saka eke tu kukuri anda akali anda skababa. So your your feeling, the way you feel, your trigger point is contagious. Your your <laughs> your fuse point is easy to be burned, to overcome, overlook hurt, to overcome harm. Stop complaining. Learn how to handle, manage pain. Learn how to handle and manage pain. Learn how to handle and manage insult. Learn how to handle and manage offenses successfully. Your feeling, are, your feeling will definitely impact your behavior. Your feeling will definitely impact your character. Your feelings per time, your emotional feeling per time will impact what? Will impact your behavioral, uh, your behavioral character. Your attitude are impacted by what? Your feeling, how you see things, how you understand things, how you interpret things. Uh, number seven, number seven is talking about this teaching, this discourse, this series will do what? Will enhance your social intelligence skill set, will enhance your social intelligence skill sense. Skill set and skill set, how to socialize, how to interact, how to connect with people, how to do what? How to be around people. This is what is going to happen to you. You will come into the realization, into the understanding of how to connect, how to, how to mix with people. Social intelligence is the ability to connect effectively with other individuals. Social intelligence is the ability to, in, to intelligently connect effectively with other individuals. It includes an individual's ability to understand himself, one, to understand others, to understand how to act with others, to understand his own feeling, to understand other people's feeling, to understand his own thought, to understand other people's thought, to understand how other people behave. It is a distinct difference from what? From a personal, it is distinct and different from your personal intelligence. It's not the same thing as book smart. You should not be book smart. It's not book smart. It's not book smart. It is not co uh, 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 intelligent quotient. It's not your intelligent quotient. It's your ability to come into the understanding of interpersonal relationship, interpersonal connection, interpersonal interaction. Social intelligence refer to a people ability to understand themselves, to understand how to manage, how to maximize interpersonal relationship successfully. Social intelligence is learned, developed from what? From experience with people. From experience with people. And it's, it's also achieved from learning from your success and failure in this society. That's why I tell young people, forget about what you say. When you stay with your parents, when you stay with the elderly, they will tell you how to behave, how to interact, how to navigate life, how to behave to be accepted, how to behave to be what? To be repelled. There are ways your behavioral pattern will either repel people or attract people to you. And you might not to accept what? Accept at a matured person come to tell you that this way you are behaving will repel people. This way you are behaving will push away people, except you come into this interaction skill, except you come into this attitude. Social intelligence is an important interpersonal skill set, interpersonal skill sense that helps individuals to successfully succeed in all aspects of their life endeavor. You need to learn it. You need to learn it. Listen, listen, listen to me. There is a place for anointing. People enhances anointing. People enhances make prophecy to become a reality. Prayers are answered on the altar of people. It takes people to answer prayer. It takes people to bring prophecy to fulfillment. It takes people. To make your anointing to be seen. 
you can be anointed when the people don't like you. Who will the anointing work on? Maye, Kure, Ike, Iskete, and Namakuto Kaplekatakapado Prekapata. Anointed, but people shekatalaba. They want to see if Rekuto look Rehela Kababa. Esh Kataka Bada Brokoto Shikebe. Increpe, I feel like jumping my note. I feel like jumping my note. Kepolo Brekapata Prekaba. That is why Proverbs chapter 18, Muso Kopodia, Impreketo Unkopodaba, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24 is talking about, is talking about the people. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 28. Proverbs 14, 28 talks, it says, in a multitude of people is a king's honor, but in the lack of people is the downfall of a prince. It's a downfall, downfall. So there's a place of anointing and there's a place of people coming to enhance the anointing. I'm going to go on break now. Don't change that dial. I will be back. Word of God says clearly the prosperity of fools we destroy them and the fool is the one who said there is no God the fool is the one that the Bible says make a mockery of sin you keep on enjoying sin I'm not the one who says so God say you're a fool Back to stepping up, my name is still Sebastian. One area we are still looking at the people dynamics part two. People dynamics part two. If you are just joining us, you are welcome. You have not really, really missed much, but uh, but we were talking about um, the purpose behind the the discourse of the topic, and 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 I was in point number seven. Uh, 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 talking about social intelligence skill set and skill sense being one of the greatest uh, skill set to actualize the blessings and the benefit of the destiny of God in your hand. And um, I'm going to just tell you uh, the, 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 the September program, the program for the month of September, for you that are just coming in, the, the, the September program, we have tons of enthronement coming up on September 14th. September 14th with the team, the realm of knowing part two, the realm of knowing part two, the realm of knowing part two, and the mind development workshop. The mind development workshop coming up on the 21st, 21st of September, 21st of September with the team of the renewal, the renewal part two, the renewal part two. Both programs are free before the end of this telecast. My numbers will be on your, uh, my detail will be on your screen for you to be part of the discourse, for you to find out if you have not been to the Kedja venue of our, 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 our training our program, then you will now find out with our details. My phone number, WhatsApp number, and email address will be on your screen for us to discuss uh, from that platform. And as we do, the Lord Almighty will bless you greatly in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir, I will take about five, ten minutes to go uh, look at our discourse before we come into your your various test messages, uh, uh, and as, as you do, the Lord Almighty bless you greatly in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I've looked at uh, point one to seven, the purpose behind the teaching. We said, yes, for you to know that people are part, an integral part of, of the activity of life. Number two, uh, your people relationship is by choice, not by force, nor by chance. Uh, number three, that people relationship is not forever. Uh, it is not forever. In most cases, people relationship are for a season and for a reason. Number four, we said, uh, is to reveal and show into the consciousness of the people that listen the environment 
the society, the earth, are made up of what? Mixed multitude, are full of mixed multitude. So it is you that will learn how to navigate, maneuver, successfully, resultfully, and impactfully with this kind of mixed multitude. It's not that uh, if you are looking at that it is only wicked people you are attracting. When you call, I can tell you why you are attracting wicked people. You are attracting wicked people because you are yet to forgive those that have offended you before now. You are attracting bad people, painful people, parasitic people because your mind is full of parasitic thoughts. Your mind is full of the harm, the pain caused by these parasitic people. That is why you check that, that you let go. Let go of the pain of the past. Let go of the pain of the past. Let go of the painful past in your life. Painful past in your life. Like what the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Verses 18 says, Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Verse 19. So don't remember. Don't remember. Deliberately put your subconscious mind of the pain of the past for you to have what? A glorious, good future relationship. Number five, number five of the purpose behind the teaching, we said to learn and unlearn how to what? Overlook and overcome the satanic strategy. What is the satanic strategy? Creating offenses and strife. Creating offenses and strife. We looked at point six, how to master and handle your own emotion. Point seven is to enhance your social intelligence skill sense and skill set. Now we are looking at number eight. Number eight, to bring to your notice Levels of what? Of people relationship. To bring to your notice. To bring to your notice is, is for you to know that, listen, relationship are in levels. Relationship are in strata. Relationship are in layers. Relationship are by sizes, by impact, by productivity. Relationship are by sizes. You can't just wake up and say, I want to be in relationship with who? Pastor Deboye. The gap is... <laughs> You can follow Pastor Adeboye on his social media. You can follow Pastor Adeboye on Dove TV. That is a relationship from a distance. And you are listening to him. You are learning from him. You are adjusting. The day the circuit of your adjustment is complete, you will shift level. You will shift level. You will shift level. You will shift level. A lot of people want to come in close relationship, in close contact. Because, see, there are various shades and stripes of relationship. Relationship by distance, relationship by distance, relationship by books, relationship by materials, relationship by actively connecting to a program. That's relationship. It's not only physical relationship. It's not only close relationship. I want to bring this to your notice, bring this to your consciousness. There are people that have transformed my life, that have impacted me beyond measure, that we are not in close proximity. Because, listen, close proximity uh, reveals or makes you to pick, to pick their mistake, shortcomings, inadequacies, things that make them to be what? Men. Remember, that will not expose you to what? Anger. That will not expose you to what? Offenses. That will not expose you to what? Strife. Which is what? Satanic tool, satanic strategy to do what? To deal with you. There are people, it is best for you to be in a relationship with them at a distance. There are, listen, the same way you have best restaurant, the same way you have best food, the same way you have your best delicacy, I can ask you, you should also have your best book, that author, that author, that you have a best author, you have your best preacher, you have your best gospel singer, Prokoto Likedia, Likatas Kababa, people that minister to you because those things are food to your soul. They are food to your spirit. They are food to your subconscious mind. They are food to your emotion. They are food to your desires. They are food to your spirit man. You can't have a best meal or a best type of delicacy without having a best preacher, a best teacher of the word of God. You, you should have a best evangelist, a best prophet. And by so doing, it helps, it helps, it helps to grow you. It's not only on close proximity. It's not only on close 
proximity. There are people that are mentored in the place of prayer from distance. I ensure I monitor them pray in the night from 12 midnight to, to about 4 a.m. People are monitored from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. People are monitored from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. Why? Why? On distance, we have set rules and regulations and we have consequences for breaking those rules and regulations. They can recognize me, but I can't recognize them. Why? They see me, they know me, I don't know them. But what? We are in what? So to say, relationship. Relationship. We are in what? A mentor protege relationship. A higher person and a lower person. The best way to learn, the best way to get, don't, don't, don't go for somebody that the distance between the person and what you are doing is what? Is so far. Is so far. Is so far. Is so far. That's what I tell business people when they come for mentorship class. I tell business, if you are an entrepreneur, you are a startup entrepreneur, don't go and start looking for Hakashute Kilianda Sadaba, Ekrotush Keteba, and Aliko Dangote to be your mentor. Because there are a lot of startup things that he has forgotten. Look for someone at your close proximity. Someone at your close, at your close range proximity. So the person who works better with people even with strangers, are known as, follow, as followers. Followers work better with people and strangers. Uh, number two, the person who helps people to work better in what is a manager. He helps people to work better is a manager, know how to manage people. Number three, the person who develops better people to work with is what is a leader. A leader develops better people to work with. He brings out the best in you. He brings out the hidden intelligence and the hidden talent in you that you yourself don't even know about. Number four, the person who, who deploys people for his personal gain, personal advantage, personal aggrandizement only is what is a parasite. It's a parasite. It's just trying to feed on those people. It's trying to use those people. Number, number five, the person who infuses, inflict pains, injury, physical, mental, emotional injury, emotional harm is what? It's a toxic, it's a toxic person. There are a lot of them like that, and it goes on. People, people that take advantage of you, they are self-centered people, they are selfish people, they don't care about the collective good, they think about themselves, they think about themselves. Let me just go through uh, 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 the test messages that we, we have. One says, Pastor, you are doing a wonderful work, I appreciate you, this, this, this thing you are doing is awesome, I, I give God the praise and glory. Uh, the, the intelligence of this is beyond recognition. Is beyond recognition. Thank you very much. One said, my name is Jude from Port Harcourt. Pastor, I appreciate what you are doing. This teaching has opened my eyes to understand, and I agree with you, that this life is full of mixed multitude. People can do, people can learn how to do it. Okay. Okay, so what is your question now? This person came, he says, my name my name is Williams Adeshola from Lagos. Pastor, I love what you have said about mixed multitude and being the people dynamics. Pastor, is there a special learning for us to know how to navigate life with these various people? Yes, there's a special learning. It's, it's a special learning. There are books, collective collection of books. I can't exhaust this teaching even up to part time. I can't. This teaching is wide. And you need to just understand and train up your mind and your, and your mindset for you to be able to accommodate this because it's so dynamic in the sense that they change. They change. Like now in corporate organizations, they will ask you, can you manage or work with a Gen Z? They have made themselves to, be, to, to, to become a study case. A study case, some of them are talented, but they don't have character. They don't have, be, they don't have character. They don't have culture. They just behave anyone. In fact, I was telling one of them that, listen, <laughs> go and read a book by, by, I mentioned the name of the author. Talent is not enough. Talent is, skill is not enough. Because skill without ability to connect with people will take you nowhere. So you need to learn how to either manage people above you or people below you. You just behave anywhere. You can't go far. And let me still say this. That's why I'm telling you that you learn the skill. Listen. People is people that open door. It's people that shut door. Kayako told ya. A command that's got to break. Like I yes, I am a pastor. Komode kaba. I agree three hundred percent that God Almighty opens door. Moko brihele. Ovoko tu kuseka pranda like a de 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 kaba. Listen, people 
God open door, your character, your character attitude. If it is toxic, we still shut the door. Oh, oh, oh. For doors to be open, God go through people. God go through human being. I can't, I'm not teaching that now. God have to influence somebody to like you to open the door. But if your human behavioral pattern is toxic, faulty, hey, the, <laughs> your behavior with your, look, hard work, hard work, <laughs> hard work, diligence, commitment, fasting, take you to the top. Character and attitude that is faulty bring you down. It's not, it, it, it. So, so, so my brother, you, it, it's a skill. It's a skill. You want to be trained. You want to be trained. You can write to us, get in touch with us. We tell you where we organize a course for that, for people to come around and be part of it. Because seriously, we need it. We need it. You need to. Jesus told them, like the, the sister that called, um, that called in in the last episode, talking about church, a worker. Yes. Jesus told us in John chapter 10, there are, four, there, there are about five relationships in John chapter 10. In church, you have strangers. He said, he said, the sheep, my sheep, hear my own voice. The voice of stranger, they don't hear. So there are characteristics of a stranger. There are characteristics of a sheep. He said he's a shepherd. There's a characteristic of a shepherd. There are characteristics of a, of a, of a hireling. I'm telling you, I'm breaking my nose, telling you what I'm going to teach you in future. In this series, I pray we should get there. There are characteristics of a hireling. There are characteristics of sheep in wolf clothing. The sheep can at the Asia Namole the Sataba. The sheep is schoolless and clueless in the character of a sheep in wolf clothing. In fact, a sheep thinks a member that is a sheep in wolf clothing looks like him. And a pastor, which is a shepherd, that does not have the strength, the leadership strength to confront wolf in the church, might be devoured by the wolf. So, you, so sir, you, I can spend time. You need to develop <laughs> the skill. You need to learn it. And, and, and let me tell you, I've been telling people, you have to make up your mind what you want to know and what you want to do, what? Develop and, and, and increase yourself. Somebody say, Pastor, you are doing a very wonderful job. Uh, when we talk about social intelligence, what does it entail? What does it entail? about social intelligence, social skill. What the social intelligence, um, we are still going to get there, entails, number one, you trying to understand your own emotion, your own feeling. Number two, you understand your own feeling. Are you a high-tempered person? Are you or you are a low-tempered person? Now, the next question, you now find out your emotional trigger. What are the things? that trigger up your own anger? What are the things that make you to boil? What are the things that get you angry? And number, th number three, you need to know when we talk about emotion, emotion is elasticated in three, in three elementic words. Number one, you have the word love. Love is divided into four. And you have the word anger. And you would have the word fear. Fear. Love, anger, fear. Love, Anger, fear, you can add both happiness. You can even add joy, joy into it because these are emotional, emotional elements. Emotional elements. And each and every one of them uh, uh, explains your emotional state per time, which is a, a reflection of an inner thing that has just happened. Like when we talk about love, love is made up of four. And the one we are talking about is agape love. The, the, the love the love of God, the unconditional love, the, the, the love of thinking good for the collective. Thinking good for the collective. Thinking, that's why I have told people, hear me and hear me well. In some part of Africa, we have bastardized the word cabal. Cabal, cab, there are cabals, yes. And permit me to say there are good cabal and there are bad cabal. Bad cabal are cabal that are selfish, self-centered. They, they, they think about themselves to the detriment of the collective. They have the good cabal. The good cabal are what? Are, are the people that are good. <laughs> they think about the, 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 the good of the collective. They are selfless. Bad cabal are self-centered. Good cabal are selfless. They are service-oriented. They want the best for the good of 
the collective, not center oriented. So they have, the Bible calls them the remnant. And I'm saying this for you to understand, all over the globe, everybody, hear me, everybody cannot be at the same position at the same time. You are going to select people that will be representative. They are going to select people that will be representative. If those people are self-centered, they will destroy in that law and behave in such a way that is detrimental to the collective. If the people are, if the people that are elevated into that position are nice, they will in that law that are for the collective good. I can go on and on. So it's not the word kabah because it's a remnant. It's a very few people. Everybody cannot be the director. Everybody cannot be the MD. Everybody cannot be the head. There are people that are the head. The head thinks about the collective good of the body. Like Pastor Deboe. It's a good head. He, he, at his level, how many, the, 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 the people at his realm and his leadership cadre and level, they are very few. So it is his capacity to think of the collective good. It is his capacity to think of the collective good that make him to be a father. People submit to his fatherhood, submit to his leadership at will, not stressful. Even people that are not members of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, they believe, they submit, they respect, they, regard, they refer him. That's what we are saying. So it's a skill that must be learned and it's a skill that must be, be, be cultivated for you to become what God has ordained you to be. It is not a gift, it's a skill to be learned, one. It's a skill to be acquired, it's a skill to be desired. And it's a skill to be what? To be taught, to be taught. You need training to understand. You need to cut off some part of your behavioral pattern to fit into what we are saying. That's why God Almighty, in his wisdom and intelligence, have infused this into my being and thought to bring it to the body of Christ at a point, at a point like this. Don't be self-centered, don't be selfish. Because what we are saying is the same thing. If a husband is selfish and self-centered, the whole family is in trouble. <laughs> If, if both the husband and the wife are selfish and self-centered, the whole children are terrible. In fact, that, you can imagine how. So, so if the husband is selfless, selfless, the family will become, will become blessed. And most men are selfless to the detriment of themselves. That's what we are saying. And that is God. God is the one that infused that selflessness. You are not thinking about yourself. You don't care. You don't care. Most men die. Most men are dying because, look, they, they will not eat. They want to provide for the family. Because the money is not enough, they are not thinking about themselves. They are not thinking about how they look. They, and it's a terrible thing to be selfless as a man, <laughs> to marry a selfish one. <laughs> the children are in trouble. And it's, it's the same thing too, for a man to be selfish and the wife to be selfless. Kapahaya. Okay, Rianda, Holy Spirit, let's stop, let's stop. Kapahaya. I love this series. I love this series. I love this series. Because it, it takes skill. If you are selfless, look whether the people you are attracting, they are selfless. It's a terrible thing to be selfless and attract, attract selfish people at, <laughs> around you. You will just discover that you are laboring and saving for, for, for hireling and wolf to squander. This will not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you have listened to this teaching and telecast today, your intelligence, your social intelligence is open in the name of Jesus Christ. Your interpersonal relationship skill is developed in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, enlarge, expand the knowledge that has been sown as a seed into your intelligence in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are in a relationship that you are confused, you are trying to make decisions, you are in the crossroad, Holy Spirit, based on what you have heard, based on what you are hearing, we grant you intelligence to make the right decision in the name of Jesus Christ. You make the right judgment call in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are surrounded by high if you are surrounded by the spirit of the most high God will infuse into you via the teaching, via the series, the understanding to sanitize, sanctify your environment in the name of Jesus. You will be taught how to how to isolate, insulate yourself. 
from instead of you being isolated in the name of Jesus, it is well with you. You will succeed and excel. In Jesus' name, we pray. So we are going to continue in the next episode. I just want to remind you of our program for the month of September, Tongues of Entrumen, 14th of September, with the team Realm of Knowing and Mind Development Workshop on 25th, 21st of September, 21st of September, 21st of September with the team, the renewal, the renewal. I, I'm still Sebastian Wanneri. I appreciate everybody that have brought this telecast into a reality. People like the MCR, VCR, my camera crew, the engineers, uh, 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 my producer. I say the Lord Almighty, bless them, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. My viewer all over the world, remain blessed, remain blissful till I come your way. Sebastian signing out. God bless you.